Oh, the music's down. Ah, <laughs> back again so soon, everybody. Hello, Xander. Hello, mundane man. There's Doug. We got some good music going. In. All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Mayhem, and we're back with another episode it's of Mass request. Effect. <laughs> ah, I've been demanded hydration. Here's your food. Ah. Yes, I am on. <laughs> that my life flash. <laughs> oh, another hydration. Uh, <laughs> guys, I just started. I hydrated literally right before starting. A uh, snack. I gotta get my thing of snacks. I'm open. hungry. Uh, Mass Effect, yes. More Mass Effect creepy, yes. Yeah. Got a snack in. Alright. So. My life flashed. <laughs> I, I got, I got. <laughs> okay, so last time we started the game, we went to this place. We definitely proved that the bad guy is the bad guy because we had the pro. We had to prove that he was the bad guy, even though he looks like a bad guy. And appearances are everything. I Rex, but um. <laughs> But now we got our team together, and we're gonna go find a person who maybe knows what the heck is happening. But let's go. No, I'm never playing TCG sim. I will have the worst sim. Also, Shepard is nervous about something. <laughs> I'm nervous about that door. All right, let's go to space. Sorry, I'm putting some respect on his name. No. <laughs> Oh, this is uh, the Normandy. This is our spaceship that we're in. Supposedly constructed by. Oh, this is the Citadel. Okay. Now, the part that confused me last time. Now we zoomed out. Welcome to our galaxy, everybody. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Remember, our channel points. We have a goal towards the eventual merch giveaway. So, donate your channel points, everybody. We post post two k each stream. Which I'm actually going to do that right now. There we go. <laughs> there, I did. I did it myself too. There we go. Okay. See, everybody can. Everybody can do it. Also, hold on a second. There we go. Okay. All right. So now we've got the whole Milky Way galaxy ahead of us. <laughs> Here's a hammer. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> Just. Thank you. <laughs> I now I need thirty-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine more. Then I'm on my way to forty thousand. Another galaxy over there. That's a, just just a p. You can see the the square or over that galaxy or whatever that is. I don't know why that's there, but you can I can clearly see a very. It looks like a poster just out there in space. <laughs> All right, so we are going to I believe it's called Lyra's dig site. Uh, is it all game? <laughs> Hold on, I need, I need to, uh, I need to review where we're going. Find Liara. Go to Artemis Tau. Explore the uncharted words and worlds of the Artemis Tau to cluster to find Liara. So, no, so me. Okay. Liara. Three K. Yes, we do. 
just so everybody knows, we're very close to 800 subs on our on our gaming channel. Very close. Andrew, by the way, could you tell Jujutsu and said sorry for not appearing for his streams because I was watching alien movies instead? <laughs> You'd understand. All right. So one of these four planets is where we need to go. Unfortunately, it's one of those games that wants you to actually look for stuff instead of just telling you where to go. But let's check out Athens. Ooh. Really awesome cutscene. <sighs> Excuse me. But here we are, leaving the citadel and using a mass relay. That's why it's called Mass Effect, everybody. <laughs> Because Star Wars is spine's fantasy. <laughs> uh, Eros, Salamis, Nosia, Circe, Protus. Athens, isn't that Greece, not space? Well, here's the th problem is that they can put it anywhere else they want. <laughs> Let's go to Salamis because it sounds like salami. Never mind. Can't go to Slavs. Proteus. Like a Hanar homeworld, Proteus is more than 90% of the oceanic cover. The incredible heat thrown off from Athens raised global humidity to 100%, creates constant cloud cover, and powers colossal typhoons that rage across the surface year round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's the stats. <laughs> Hot, human. Humid and storm racked. Proteus, rare combination of oxygen, nutrient, oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, and carbon based biosphere, nevertheless recommend it for colonization. A pilot program is studying the possibility of colonies below the ocean surface, safe for the worst effects of the weather. I guess we can land here. Never mind. <laughs> what about Cersei? Cersei is a modest, modestly sized hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of sulfur and chlorine. Also gave a striking yellow tint, yellow green tint. The wild metapod, if anybody wants a metapod. The development of the Proteus colony continues. Cersei will likely develop for helium three mine. Gas depot surveyed. While scanning the just the gas giant, you detected a large concentration of helium three. Xander, if a Pokemon Emerald multiplayer game made you guys play it on the channel, absolutely. We that's actually very close to what we planned on doing. <laughs> Traces of sodium. No. Okay. What about you, Pharos? Uh, Servant. Turian Insignia. Scans of the Panic Fer Planet Pharos revealed an abandoned base on its moon. The recon team found nothing of interest, but much of the debris was marked with the Magna Colony in Insignia. All right, I guess we're not going here. Gnosis. Duh. Okay. <laughs> right, let's check. Phaistos. Phaistos. Can't do anything. Theorem. Land. There. Therum is a distant but rich industrial world claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. Its plenty heavy metals have fueled the recent manufacturing boom on Earth. Core samples rich with the fossils of simple silicon-based organisms indicate Therum was more habitable in the past than it is at present. Perhaps this explains the many Prothean ruins dotting the surface, much of which have been looted by mining corporations. As I'm looking to see if it exists, it may, I think it may exist, but not sure if it is a open to public or too safe to play. Yeah. <laughs> Capital is Nova Yinkenberg. <laughs> Wait, Yekaterinburg. <laughs> Alright, let's land here. We're kind of, we're exploring a little bit. We're exploring. We gotta find, we gotta find exactly where to go. We're taking Rex. Oh. Rex and Tali. Because they're the best characters. Woo! I know I see Brandon with a rock rough in a little video friend. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> I'm in the car! 
Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming get bigger from the charts. underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Oh, there's lava. Ooh. Is that green? Yes. <laughs> I think. You might need to look at a Mass Effect 1 Joker. Well, we're on a lava planet, everybody. We're on a lava planet if you want to just... Um, motivate me to drive into the lava real fast. <laughs> Oof, oof. Oof. Weird how there was smoke only coming from that spot. Oh, don't turn around like that. Oh, we got it! <laughs> the ship has a jump. <laughs> yep. Hello, mutant. Welcome. We're playing Mass Effect. And I'm in a car. A car that jumps. <laughs> Oh! Hello. This is cool. Oh, hi. Bonk. <laughs> oh! Ah! The massive effect equivalent of a giant horse. Seth Green, you mean the world famous actor known for playing Chris Griffin the Family Kids Show Family Guy? Ah! Overheating. Honestly, it drives pretty well. Good. It jumps way better than the horse. The sketch with three streams. Oh, oh. Only a fool punches a Nathak in the mouth. We should sneak around and pull its tail. Uh, Rex, I need you to kind of focus. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, hi. Yeah. What? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, hello, Juggernaut. You ain't a Juggernaut anymore, bitch. Oh, oh who else? Oh, vertical mobility. Ah, uh, yeah, I got gotcha. you. 360! Sir, we can't destroy the car. It's too cool. It's a totally random uh, question. What kind of armor does Mayhem wear? Paladin Steel! It's been... It's a, com it's a combination of Holy Silver and Steel. Do flips! Woo! <laughs> oh, wait, let's see if I can... Oh! <laughs> Close. Oh, oh, oh. So play an army. Yeah, play an army. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, I think I have to get out, but does this. Oh, hey. <laughs> T posing. And get out of the car. This isn't the buttons. Thank you. It's totally unneeded information, but which will help me dearly. <laughs> of course, I, I love to give unimportant information that no one will need. Cue the synth wave. <laughs> Someone in here. Someone in here. You! You! Hey! Hey! None of that! Hey! 
There we go. Uh, dude, yeah. Alright, it's R2-D2 the shit. Is that my life flashed? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it stuck. Ah, the hydration! <laughs> what Am I blurry? I'm blurry. There you go. Okay. Alright! Gate is open. We shall drive car that we are recommended to not get stuck. There we go. Onward! Hello, Lake of Lava. I sure hope there isn't another giant thing ready to shoot. Oh! <laughs> To get armature. Oh, fuck out the way. Hit him while he's down. Yeah. <laughs> and I leveled up from that. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, get more store discount. Store new dialogue options. Yay. Shield boost. I, still, I have so many points! Oh my god! Adrenaline burst. It sets the cooldowns times on all your talents so they can be used immediately. Damage duration of all your powers and attacks. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh. Restores dead squad members with 30% health and 50% shields. Interesting. Do I need to do anything to buy these? Oh, wait, what? Why can't I get this one? I'm a person who knows where every piece of loot is in the game is. <laughs> How do I unlock these ones? Do I have to get to a higher level? 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 You know, lock by getting it on other perks. Oh, gotcha. So there's going to be a first aid thing somewhere else. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Do you know where the parking lot is? Sir, 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 you're ignoring me, sir, and I don't appreciate it. Sir, sir, sir. Wait, he could be in lava? Uh oh, Duke has an idea. Xander, by the way, update on the amount of Greenville and content is watched recently. They still haven't watched any Greenville and content other than the streams in a couple of months. I've been watching many playthroughs play recently. Xander, you failed me! <laughs> oh. Why was there no sound with that ship? Oh, there it is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Another has a mast. Oh, been this. <laughs> it doesn't show up well, Jinzu. Jinzu, stop punching the green screen. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm in war. Nah, fuck out the way. <laughs> Delay sound. The sound is delayed. Oh, what? It didn't work. What did you just do? Oh, uh, I felt that. <laughs> the boar versus the tiger. No, don't blow your. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, like ever. <laughs> that, that's Jinzu, everybody. That's Jinzu. The boar versus the tiger is you. Uh. <laughs> What's up? What? Got that dog in me. That's a that's a French bulldog, right there, man. All right, look. Watch this. Watch this. You see, you see these guys. You see, you see that big thing right there. No. You see that huge thing? Oh my God, Colossus. The <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Xander says hello and also sorry for not showing up the stream, your stream yesterday. It's okay. You have a life. <laughs> you never mind. Have to refresh my page. Just have a mini stroke. <laughs> Uh, Duke, so Elementality John, who made our outro, has this nice feature, has this neat feature, where if you give him bits, a Pokemon pops up. The 151. 
There's a chance for a shiny, and he has a wall of people who've got first got a shiny. I'm gonna do something. I just whatever stuff that you're doing, don't just uh, as long as it allows me to keep streaming. One day, man. I didn't know Jimbo would be joining you. <laughs> Krimi says, "Hey, bitch." <laughs> yeah, but... I whispered in. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's it's fine. He lives in Michigan. Hi, <laughs> <I'm> Maryland. <laughs> But, um, Digimon, but randomly special form Digimon. No, don't, di uh, do, I d do not do anything Digimon related. I hate Digimon. <laughs> Ow. But yay, so, <laughs> by my name, man, don't worry. Anytime that it's me or Jinzu streaming, the other one is bound to just show up randomly. Don't we worry. Together, so. Yeah. He's literally two doors down. Is that, is that the band name? What? No, it's three doors down. <laughs> the doors? Or the do there's the doors, but then there's three doors down. Watch, the watch what happens when I get out. Come on me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what game is this? This is Mass Effect. Oh. <laughs> I told you I was playing Mass Effect. Oh, God. And this. And also, I've never seen gameplay for this game except for the. The, uh, the conversations. Yeah. Also, this uh, car can jump! That was terrible. <laughs> that was a Crash Bandicoot tag team racing. <laughs> this is the closest we're ever gonna get to a Jimbo face reveal. It just uh, I've already done that. <laughs> not not to him, not to him. Put your face there. Put your face there. He is. That's the Jimbo. We got Gumbo, Jimbo, and Booger. <laughs> Booger. <laughs> Booger. Technically, you can go grab Booger and show Booger. Nah. You know, I think I do that. No, don't don't bring him in here. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Sander, we got Mayhem, Jinzu, and the blue one. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, I gotta get out of the car. There's Booger! Say hello to Booger, everybody. Look at the Booger. Look at it. Look at the cat. Look at the Booger. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the cat. <laughs> A wild jinx has appeared. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that cat. Look at that. <laughs> he's a good kid. Except when he's trying to jump on my bed, which he's not allowed to be. He's mad. He's very mad. <laughs> he's sulking. Hi. <laughs> he's like, can I go now? <laughs> I thought you were referring Duke as Booger. No. <laughs> No, Duke is asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta leave the car behind. So by car. Also, Jezu, look, look, it's the person that I'm gonna romance in two games. <laughs> she the blue one? No, no, no. We, we haven't gotten the blue what one yet. Oh fuck! <laughs> what do you mean? This is the best one. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe. So here's the OG idea. The idea would set board blank Pokedex entries and be uh, grass starter stage one. Make a 1 in 25 chance to make it your own. Also, I heard that. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, one, oh, it is in Mass Effect 2 that I can romance her. Okay. I can get my fake a mod region. <laughs> dun 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 dun. There's like. There's a ton of synthwave music. Also, hi, buddy. Rex, I gotta get you better glasses. That was terrible. Guys, you suck! Just charge at them. They don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Uh! I just threw a grenade by accident. In other news, I still don't, still don't know how to do pixel art, but my art application scares me. So your sprites may take longer to make. Here's the thing, Xander. It's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Don't... The best way to start is by just trying it out. That's all you gotta do. Also, Jinzu is gone, gone. <laughs> Congratulations, mundane man, on the jinx. Oh, uh! What did I just do? Lost shield. Oh, oh that's fine. <laughs> that's where I go. 
Basically, if you get bits, uh, you board Pokemon to a chance you can make your own Pokemon out of that. Question. Whatever you want to do, Doug, just... <laughs> just know that... It's just good luck. One day, man, the reason why I'm going to call him Jim is because it, my autocorrect doesn't like the other word. <laughs> Add it to your list of words. That's what I did. So now when I start writing gin, like the drink, <laughs> like the alcoholic beverage, it autocorrects to him. Ooh! Saucy. Oh! Oh, hello. There's a rocket man. Ooh. Ooh. Do you why does it have to be broke? I can have my dark sniper eye. Chance, I gotta figure out the chances. What do you think? One in low, one in five. Like one, in, one in 25 is somewhere in between one in 25 and one in... Either one in 25 or one in 50. Don't turn your back on your enemies, you idiot. <laughs> you idiot. Oh! Oh, hi, Tali. <laughs> Line up the shot. One in fifty, yeah. Yeah, one in fifty. I think we got him, Commander. Me too, Rex. I'm gonna do this thing called saving real fast and for no other reason other than uh PTSD. <laughs> Oh! Uh, there's a guy up there. There's a guy up there? A little perfection for me. I already made this type of shit. There's a thing. Uh, there's a thing that I don't like. I really don't like this. Ew. Empire where we're cowards. We need to let me rope answer Rex. Oh boy, big thing. <laughs> Where's my car? They're here to get revenge for me running all of them over. <laughs> Get stalkers. That's what they're called. What the? Oh my god! Oh, she's dead. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Tally, can I, can I revive you? I didn't get to tell you that... That you suck. Because you died. Uh, uh. Ah! My life flashed. My life is flashing. Hydra no time to hydrate. I'm in war. Gets creepy, guys. Right, you sniper guy, you gotta die now. There we go. Oh, very nice, Rex. Feeling pretty good. Now it's this thing. That one shot at Tali. Oh, hi, guys. Oh! Ow. We'll try and hit it with a grenade. <laughs> Hi, Rex. Oh. Xander, by the way, I find it funny mayhem is red, even though he's red in his hand to the screen. Because, like, chaotic evil energy radiance, would you agree? See, he gets it. 
it has a porpoise. Eat this. It's a robot. It can't eat. Ah! Viking maneuvers. Hello, sir. Rex, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> it's it's mainly to symbolize how much I don't like Digimon. <laughs> Oh yeah, look who's alive now. <laughs> Convenient. Also, Jinsu is the only member to have green with him as neutral evil also fitting. Yes. Are you okay? Are you okay, Dali? Get down with the war with W Energy, your proud sponsor of this channel. Use code no choice if you get a discount on Discord. Just like these robots, they have no choice but to follow. To make him slide, you have no choice but to save <laughs> Well, I would buy some. With that promotion. Man. <laughs> Studying our meadles. Also, it helps if I actually walk towards the correct place. There we go. Also, uh, Creamy, how do you like the me accidentally choosing the correct place to go? Because I, I, I completely had no idea where I was going. <laughs> How, yeah, how do I use that ability? I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to use my abilities. <laughs> Hello, power menu. What's power menu? What the heck is the power menu? Oh! Everything's exploding, you know? Oh, hey, Red Barrel. Whee! <laughs> oh, great. Is this the power menu? This is not a power menu. That's the power menu. There it is. I'm making a Pokedex listening and taking on the stream. Okay, now it makes sense now. Okay. Ooh! Ow, ow, ow. I figured it out, okay? I figured it out. Uh! I didn't give you the teleporting ability, Rex. It looks like this cavern formed around the ruin after it was built. How does that work? Stupid. Hey guys. I right, put our guns away in sync. Uh hi guys. Hey, I how you doing? You got it. It's getting hot in here, isn't it? Like there's lava on the surface of the planet, so that means that um it's gonna be hotter down here. That's how it works. You ever think about how planets were just like uh, parasites that live on the planets and the planets are living beings and we're actually the not things the the not the main things that live? Uh ah! Oh my god! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Creamy, you just dis you distracted me because I had to I have to allow your message. Hold on. I hope this is the right place. <laughs> but you distracted me with needing to allow you to say that. <laughs> well, it's like... The Automod is fine for, like, severe words, but, like, for just fuck or something like that. Like, words that, that I can say we should be able to, like, turn off.
But I feel like there should be words that were just like, no, this is fine. Okay. Take two, everybody. Take two. It looks like also, you... Around the ruin after it was built. How do I heal her? You lead. I'll follow. I need you to heal. Heal. Uh, Tommy. How do I heal? Equipment. Uh, that's worse. Ooh. Dude, hey, hey. I hear shouting at her to heal work slow. Oh, okay. Heal! <laughs> what the hell? How am I supposed to... Totally healed. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> hey, I just realized that you didn't actually heal when I told you to heal. Like, what the? Like, what's up with that? Come on. <laughs> Let's see if the D-pad does anything when we get to the bottom here. Xander, I have an idea. The taco sandwich you use two tacos in the sandwich buns in the middle of ten tacos to be delicious. Huddle up. Form up. Okay. Ah, we. Oh, Rex is dead. Hi, Rex. Is back <laughs> <laughs> He's fine, everybody. He's fine. There we go. Okay, so just it heals everybody. Okay. <laughs> Was that like, like, ready to do it? <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> uh oh. Rex, you're too fat. Rex, you're too fat. You had a power nap. <laughs> uh oh. Oh my god. This is the weirdest bathtub I've ever seen. Look at the tiling. Huh? Hello. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. I wish that it synced up better. We are at Sony, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it. All right? Uh, how do we do that? There's some kind of propulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some. Yes, Duke. The <laughs> That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut <laughs> <off> from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> it gets like super distorted. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. There's a Krogan? Oh, hi guys.
<laughs> now we can. Oh. Come on. Just realized something about this area that I know about them nice brothers. Way to give me trauma, Duke. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you. <laughs> He's like, oh my god! <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Stop being so accurate. Hello. No, oh, better take cover. <laughs> I'm back. Hi. Damn, this guy's strong. There we go. There we go. That was simple. That's safe. <laughs> that was totally too easy and definitely wasn't exactly how it's supposed to go. Mining laser. Ooh. I'll come back for you. He was over here. But there might be close combat. Jacka. No, Duke. We've all said horrendous things. <laughs> Easy to decrypt. And... Ah! Who said he had the? Who has said the worst? You think? Uh Duke, you. you... I think uh, I think you grossly mis uh, overestimate the things I've said and underestimate the things you said. <laughs> Jinzu definitely just comes in out of nowhere with something, but he definitely waits till the right moment to say something. <laughs> Jinzu's got comedic timing. <laughs> uh, dance Dance Revolution! That was right. Oh. Da. Oh. A X B Y X. Oh! <laughs> Jesus has a fun I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't under <laughs> Don't worry, Doke, you just <laughs> That's why it's best to never what is... Oh Oh we're in an elevator <laughs> Hello How you doing? Oh how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please. Look at the gibberish on her arm. <laughs> that button over there should shut down this containment field. Not so fast, Shepard. You sure she's on our side? Her mother's working with Saren. I am not my mother. I don't even... I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. Oh? I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. Let's hear her out. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. <laughs> that always sucks, Xander, when you have something and you try doing anything and everything just breaks. <laughs> yeah, we weren't gonna catch you or anything. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. Missile silo. <laughs> I I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... Ah. Alright. What the hell was that? 
<laughs> I love Rex. Ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. I'm about to have a seismic event in my we pants. Have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. On the double, man. Sure and away. <laughs> ETA eight minutes. He needs to move faster. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Oh, what do you do? <laughs> Mutant. No. It wasn't that bad of a statement, Mutant. <laughs> I don't like that we can't move on the elevators. Oh, oh! The, take a look at this battle arena. Hello, Krogan. Red, yeah. White, green. Surrender, or don't. That would be more fun. I agree. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. You're not Whatever sick. Whatever it is you want, you are <laughs> not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Did <laughs> you buy? <laughs> not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. If not, doesn't matter. Dog guy. <laughs> oh, that actually. Okay. Okay. Ow! Dun, 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 Ah, no, we gotta get up there. Need some help here. Woo. That hurt. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is so much more fun. Hello! Pro good fight! Pro good fight! Pro good fight! <laughs> no, Rex! Catching you up. Yeah! <laughs> Look at us, so colorfully different and distinct. It's for visual sake. <laughs> Funny, running, oh my god. Move, move, move. That's why I stopped. <laughs> There's the ship. Oh, <laughs> Rex is out first. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> hey, here you We did it. Yeah. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. Unfortunately. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. Septile guard chump, that's going to be an amazing fusion years sandwich. trying to figure out what happened to them. Hmm? Uh, keep talking. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came I love everybody just sitting the in these chairs. <laughs> and cleanse the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. 
According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? A... I don't know. Usual there is barely cleansing? any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. That's crazy. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. Nice messed the up. Protheans Hi, rose Rome. up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. That's cool. I know it happened. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? I found there was a beacon. damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. I feel like there's a bit of fire grasp. Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. <laughs> Sanders never played Scarlet and Violet, there's Scovile. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you receive, <laughs> that's a grass fire now. Unclear. <laughs> I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong willed, Commander. Okay, Ooh. this isn't helping us find Saren or the conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific <laughs> curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the conduit. Or Saren. So what good are you? <laughs> I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. <sighs> and my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. Very yeah, true. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Well, good part. to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Well, <laughs> I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion. I don't know. Coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Uh, we'll talk. Talk on we later. can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are found, oh. Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? Yeah. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. <laughs> We've received your report, Commander. Yeah. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Oh. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? <laughs> you just turned it off. <laughs> the Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. See, he's Good smart. Luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. My only problem with holograms is when it shows, like, the back of the person. So it kind of, like, messes with it visually. When it should be just the front of them. Alright, let's see. Let's, let's go talk to her below somewhere. She's... I think she's here over here. He's definitely getting seen by the doctor. <laughs> I'm a shepherd pant. Ooh. Hello, Dr. Chakwas. Yes, Commander? 
Is there something you need? No. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> Hello. You look much better. And back <laughs> hard at work, I see. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? There is a delay in the sound. <laughs> I would work. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Bye. <laughs> There's also never been a non Mega Dragon fairy. You're in good oh, hands. Yeah. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I. Da, da. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. No, you're but blue. I do not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. I know. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. Why does everyone say that? Of my time uh, every human being digs, on this planet is interesting. mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. You must get lonely! <laughs> you must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. Don't try to stun me! Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No, I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. <laughs> Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. This human trait joking. called joking. Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. <laughs> Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye then. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. And 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 It's all Kai Kaiden or Kaden. Hey buddy. How you doing? I'm going to talk to you now. You're going to turn to me. <laughs> Anything you need, Commander? <laughs> Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? All right. Let's label it officially off the record. Got something on your mind? <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> oh, he's There's absolutely judging me. This. this Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. But we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here. But someone isn't reading it. It's me. I can't read. Xander, I just think Crown entered as Amphros fused with Magnemite, but Magnemite was the body, so it was absolutely beautiful. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been Amazing. around as long as the council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in BOT. BOT! <laughs> the trainer. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, all dead is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. <laughs> there are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Leads to brain tumors some kids grew up with. Oh, God. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport. Duck. <laughs> it was there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Go on! Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your commander. I appreciate it. <laughs> I just don't want you to think that I'm a, a whiner. Besides, I've got my past squared away. 
<laughs> Sir, I don't want you to think I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Well, here's the thing, Duke. You're never gonna win that that argument. <laughs> Alright, let's go see. Let's see. Let's go talk with everybody else and see. Oh no, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way again. It's elevator. <laughs> Silvano. <laughs> Hi, Garrus. I know I didn't take you on the mission, but you're like one of the most favorite Man, friends. How are you? You and c -Sec. Why did you want to be a c officer <laughs> in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? I look so angry. Most officers. I wanted to fight injustice. <laughs> wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was C-Sec, one of the best. Ah. I grew up hearing about his generational cop. Seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a C-Sec man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks ah. I'm too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. Even though through the eyes of the law, before we investigated, they... They totally said that he was innocent. You were asked to be a Spectre? <laughs> well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. Very true. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. Actually, I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. c sex rules. Exactly. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Ah. Uh... Ah, it's not true. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. That. There you go. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. When the rules go out the window, the the dogs come out. Brrr. I haven't talked to you in a while. Hello, other human. Commander, villa. you have a minute to talk. Hey, what's up? I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I think I the outfits are stupid. Aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. What? With all due respect, Commander. Should they have full access to the ship? What are you talking about? Don't mince words, Chief. What's your concern? This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. I'm shutting that down. That's enough, Chief. You always second-guess your superiors? Sir! No, sir. I'm sorry, I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. I'm just- I'm shutting that down. I'm taking away all your shit. <laughs> you don't get anything anymore. <laughs> I'm going to talk to my good friend Rex in front of her and about to tell her how much I hate people that don't Sarah, tolerate other people. We've got Saren on the run. Ah, finally, someone Nothing with an actual <laughs> thing Saren's to talk good, about. But I'm better. Good. He's rotten to the core. Oh, he doesn't understand. Uh, sarcasm. I could tell as soon as I met him. Ooh. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open. And he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. A U-Haul? I was on board checking bodies for valuables. Looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. Goodbye. <laughs> what did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. 
He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I was rude. <laughs> I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Daisy? That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Well, it's about time. It's your turn, Rex. So long. What, Rex. you got like three more games, two more games to sure. survive through? All right, let's see what Tyler's got to say. And then we'll go to the next mission. Hi, Tali. Oh, hello, Shepard. Are you okay? What's wrong? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? It's too quiet to sleep? The silence wakes you up. Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. Fair. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. With the vengeance? It's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. You're home. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. Yeah. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Seren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. True. I should go. See you later. All right. Let's go find the next mission that we're going to do. Also, let's... Uh, can I sell stuff? Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? I'm Whatever down you want. Things. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not <laughs> cheap. Hell, the licenses alone Ekrimi, you have to do more than I'd like. You have to, no after writing that no uh, Poke no Catch, you also have I'm to write like Poke Ball or Ultra Ball or Great Ball, like stuff like that. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Duh. So. Uh, guess I'll just sell everything. I'll keep this one. And let's see what I can buy. Light armor. No, no light armor. No. The ship is a little bit weird. <laughs> His layout is a little weird. Alright, let's see where we go now. Guess attack Nover Novira. Council needs to go to Novira. Novira. 
Yeah. <laughs> Where's Novier? Novier! Whoa! Horse head. This train is something over here? No. Okay, it's just the two places. I have a suggestion if you want it. What's the suggestion? Message coming in. Oh, pe pe patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. Do I take Liara instead of Tommy? You're hearing my offer. Meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge on the Presidium. Instead of Rex, okay. Gotcha. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking your technology for business. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. You have to listen to us, aha! Ah, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Blink! <laughs> he didn't blink. Alright, let's go. Alright, so you said take Liara, Liara and Todd. I guess I'm the only person who's... <laughs> look, look at her. <laughs> this is a fucking freaking me. <laughs> Can't believe freaking the aliens, but not me. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. <laughs> the commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Hello. This place is interesting. Oh, hello, Maiko Matsuo. Hello. That's far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm, I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. My Stavier Shepard, to be what specific. Of crap, man. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Why well, you have one? Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Why did I pull a gun? It would not be wise to search for the Geth unarmed. Let's not start a fight. I'll be behind you. That armor's in good condition. <laughs> so stand down. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. You just tried to take my gun. I hate you. <laughs> Woo. This is nice. We're looking at me like that. We're looking at me like that. Uh oh. Okay. I am Gianna Parasini. Assistant to Administrator Analeas, we apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Uh... Pretty heavy security for such a small port. Yeah. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Uh... I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in <laughs> litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Oh! Benezia. <laughs> she is here. Can I speak with her? 
Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. That's, That's where we need on. to be then. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Okay. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Ah. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, I don't. I trust uh, you, Liara. That's why you told you me to bring You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. Alright. But that's why we bring her along. This. Hello, auto turret. <laughs> Yeah, Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. I just shoot the first person I see. If you have questions <laughs> or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. Left at the top of the elevator. Oh god, uh hello. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Psychic jellyfish. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? <laughs> of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Non-human armors. Rogan. Oh, armor for them. Mm. That's cool. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanshan. Yeah. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> this one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Standard items. But you didn't read it! Oh. <laughs> he just activated it! Paul Dejitsu, what do you mean? I didn't skip anything. I didn't do that. You can't accept, You can't tell it. You can't do it. You can't prove it. Need heavy armor. I need it. Need heavy armor. Alright, left at the top of the elevator. I am Paul Jinsu. <laughs> I pulled the Jinsu. Ah, oh, skip, 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 skip. <laughs> what is this? Is this the correct way to go? I have to skip dialogue for 10 minutes. No! <laughs> I'll give myself <laughs> I'll give myself like two seconds to respond. <laughs> need story. I need story. I need a moment of your time. Hello. The male human at the hotel bar. He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to no. help him. Whatever you need done, ask someone else. I'm busy. Alright, I'll Mine's I'll day. pull the Jinsu and only be doing the main story. That's what I'll do, okay? <laughs> what sort of office can I make you? Good. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They'd only write them down on thin strips. Was I supposed to do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure the company takes care of its own. Full of shine, education, subsidized housing. After a year, I'd start getting stock options. You hear about the resort then? At the equator. Bounce back in Why is it? Why do the stairs look like that? Screw Surge's gym. <laughs> Don't hang up. Elder brother, it's me. I'm on the Varia now. I can't talk long. How about doorman? I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without a corporate account. Hello, Krogan. Beat it. All right. Okay, this music is awesome. It's not important, but there are ones that add add to the next games. Okay. <laughs> it's just for ten minutes, don't worry. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. This music fucks. <laughs> Wait, who am I looking for again? I, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to. 
discovered. Wait. Speak with the minister Anoles to leave Port Hunter. His office is upstairs. So descriptive. I guess we go back down, I guess. I've never heard you say that. <laughs> say what? I'm trying to say. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> this music fucks. <laughs> What's well, true? Public extranet terminal. This elevator doesn't work. There's a star. I am confused. Is this the breastplate? That looks like a transport. So this might not be the correct place. Who's the anxious? Hello? Spectre, right? Uh, yeah? Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my ego's people, everyone's too corporate here. But they just sit around sipping expensive water. So what can I do for you today? How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers. If you can polish enough gizzard. Okay. I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. That's cool. Hello. The access to the garage is restricted. Why do you look at her face? <laughs> Articuno fuse with right. Fine. I was just passing by. Have a good day. Her eyes! <laughs> that helmet is on too tight for you, girl. <laughs> ah. Ah. There we go. Alright. Now, where is this administrator dude? I was told to go left at the elevator, but but this is right. Hello. Oh wow, <laughs> this is it's definitely that. Yeah. It, oh wait, no. Who are you? Oh, you're secretary. How can I help you? Where is he? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please, Mr. Analeas. Yes. What? What? <laughs> Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Oh, I'm gonna love this guy's voice. No, aren't you? You will excuse me if I don't stand. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Business has come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. I'm not here to investigate your tenants. Nevertheless, I have uh. a responsibility to keep you away from them. Spectres are not encumbered by a need for due process. I'm looking for I've Benizia. heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. I need to go I'd down. like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, ah. there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. So we drive. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Let him be stubborn, Shepard. I'm sure someone else here is willing to help us. What can you tell me about her cargo? What else she got? 
Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you've been the company form. 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. All right, then I bye. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Dithered. And hey, that wasn't helpful. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. Oh. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Oh, ah, I saw him. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeas. Talk to you later. Very well. I saw him. I saw him. I know where he is. I saw him. I saw him. I could have sworn I added randomized zoom tabs and I think search randomized to electric. That's lucky. Hotel bar. Hotel bar. It's funny. I got here and now I have to... <laughs> they won't let me leave the, ha the hotel. I was just looking for a. I was just wanting to book a hotel with um, one bed. <laughs> oh yeah, Brock was a ghost type. Oh yeah, the awesome music. He... There he is. Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. What? Have you changed your mind? Would you speak to Vargas for me? I don't know anything about binary helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? <laughs> I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in binary helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of VH's <laughs> work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. Mm. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. Copyrights! You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. This is illegal. You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? I don't want to do this. I'll think about it. Let me know what you decide. <laughs> I don't need to worry about copyrights right drink. now. What can I do for you? Hello. Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the specter that just arrived, are you not? Amphros McGarth. What can old Turian like me possibly help you with? I need to get. I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For He's kind of goofy looking. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Hmm. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired Indeed. evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are oh, no. in my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. I will be wandering. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Ooh! You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? <laughs> lotion? <laughs> Violence against Mr. Analeas' slugs <laughs> may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's I, security team. He got his head to try again. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. Good. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. 
Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? No promises. I'm violent. Dun, 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 I guess we go up here. <laughs> I can move for like a second. <laughs> I've taken the elevator too many times and now <laughs> there's nothing that gets said. <laughs> there we are. Uh, let's check the map here. Synthetic insights. Is that it? I need to go to the synthetic insights, right? Oh, yeah. I have my god. There we go. Okay, over here. By the way, when your squad and your menu is lit up, it means you have skill points available. Oh! Now equip heavy armor. There we go. That's what I've been wanting. Okay. Luck shotguns. Hey! Aww. Should I just auto everybody for this one? <laughs> I'm just gonna auto everybody here. That's up to you. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna auto do everybody else, and meanwhile I'll I'll focus on me. Wait, is this the garage? Oh yeah. Okay. There's an elevator over here. I'm trying not to tell you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So I'm pretty sure the auto uh, things just makes it an easier, like, here's how everybody's supposed to be. Save again. <laughs> Hello. Freeze. Henshan security. This office is sealed. What's well going What are you doing in these offices? The administrator's orders. Laura Keene is under investigation. Aww. Oh. I'm going in there, and I don't want to hurt you. Why don't you just go? We'll pretend this never happened. You want to Ow! Trouble? Where's the carpet? I need to make sure that we don't shoot accidentally get blood on the carpet. And we need to make sure. Ouchie. Okay, kid. Woo! This kind of sucks. Woo! Let's do pistol. Yeah, don't worry, guys. I gotta do this real fast. <laughs> Upgrading le weapons and armor. I could do that. Right. Hey, here. Yeah. Gabite Lantern. Ah, uh, there's running water. No! Putting better one on and ammo, you can change it. Alright. Ah! 
Missing person report. The attention administrator Anola's a man named Gareth is looking for the information of the whereabouts of one of our freighters. He believes his brother's ships may have been attacked by privateers while traveling to the Strenus system. Investigation pending. Okay. Back on. That's not stairs. Why do stairs look... Why... Oh, hi. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> I love the ragdolls in this game. Oh, here? Yeah. You downloaded the evidence. <laughs> Shark Boy and Lava Girl reference. Hell yeah. Who are you? Who are you guys? Hello. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Who are you? You have me at a disadvantage, miss. Oh, now you're going to show some respect? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. You look, Analytics, you look like an actor. I'll throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? You are here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. You expect us to feel bad for stopping you? I have a mission to complete. I did what I had to. Ah. I don't care. Oh! <laughs> You should max out decryption for loot. But that would have been good to know. Hello. <laughs> can I just? Wait, can I just? I can't shoot her. <laughs> Hello. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. No, I'm not. Are you? I'm Sergeant Kyra <laughs> Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I you are here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. Do you expect us what? to feel bad? I have a mission to complete. Thank you, Tally. I, what I, had. <laughs> I don't care. Wait, we hide this time. This is... Oh, no! <laughs> uh, get up, guys. I need my cannon fodder. Woo! Ow. Right, we need actual guns. I don't understand what that is. Where's the person? Yo, the person! And you're the old. There we go. <laughs> Biotics. I got new stuff. It's worse. My uh, damage is more. Yeah. Accuracy is a little bad, but it does more damage. Yeah, let's do that one. Armor bad. There we go. Okay. 
We did it! We have victorious. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, who? Yeah, who? Now open the door. What's this? Technician kit. Grenade upgrades. Wow. Wow. So much stuff here. Yeah, who? Yeah, who? Weapon upgrades. Medical kit. Wow. Oh, 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 <laughs> it's just a one place. Bionics. Funny word, bionics. All right, we got the thing. Huh. How you guys feeling? Because you both died. <laughs> I hate awkward elevator talk. Huh. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? It's probably Analeas's thugs ripping the place apart. Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Interesting. Give it to me. Something tells me I shouldn't trust her. <laughs> she was a whiz. <laughs> I mean, a third one couldn't hurt. There's music for it and everything. Uh, it's... And save? Now I can save. Okay. <laughs> Where is she? There she is. Hello. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why you... is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Mm. In the long run, it is better to remove the source of the problem. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. Pay me. <laughs> I guess we can help. All right, I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. <laughs> hey man, I know you like you just saw me like talk to someone else like real fast, but it's okay. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? That's done. Oh, wait. I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Aww. I'm not charming enough. I had to ask. If you're not willing, here's the evidence. I appreciate your discretion. I hope I will never again be so careless as to find myself in these circumstances. I believe you require a garage pass. As well, I would provide a sum of 500 credits. Does uh, that sound fair to you? <laughs> that is fine. Very fair. Good luck, Mr. Keen. I'm grateful for your help. My office will reopen with much improved profit margins, I dare say. I have some calls to make. Starting with Mr. Analeas. I'm not I thought I'd be able to talk to people yet. I can't I can't talk good yet. That sucks. I'm pretty sure that's one of the things that's kinda that is a bit different from the like 
if I did that and had the actual ability to tell him to testify, then things would be different here. Alright. That's all good. Yeah. Nah, it's fine. We're not going for the ultra good circumstances. Hello there, Alex. What can I do for you today? I like you. Never mind. I have, have nothing to go. To add. You need anything? I'll be here. Hello. Access to the garage is restricted. <laughs> Your helmet's still so small. I have so authorization. Small. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. <laughs> the weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Aleutsk Valley. All right. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I'd say these are what the matriarch had in the crates. Ah. Uh. Ow! What the hell was that? Oh my god! These guys are huge and awesome looking. I load up. Uh, hold on, guys. I load up. No one gets in or out. Hello. Person that is trying, that was, uh, survived. Hello. What did you do here, Commander? The Geth ambushed us. We fought back. That's it. Geth, you expect me to... Where did they come from? What if do you I mean? were to guess, the Matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. We've fought Geth before. We'll take care of them for you. I could do it. I, I appreciate that. My people are good, but few of them have combat experience. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose Geth, there may be an investor panic. <laughs> ah, yes, the investors. We can't, we can't let them know that anything bad is happening. Okay. Ah, uh, look at me, car, ready to go. The Marco. Time to see what it's like to drive in the snow! Whee! Whee! <laughs> the, oh, it's got too much good traction. I was hoping for a slip slidey. Level 1 has. This is cool. Oh. We're on our way to go see Parthenax. <laughs> We're actually in Skyrim. Oh, big building. Crate. Crate. Uh oh. Ow! Excuse me. Oh my god. Ow. 
Ow. <laughs> Book club. <laughs> I'm just gonna be screaming the art of war the entire time. And Frankenstein. Dinosaur die. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. How do they know where I am? Hello, you've been you were Oh no! <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. There we go. He's screaming the out of war and freaking sounds perfectly normal for my cubs. <laughs> Dr. Crate. I must get this crate. Securing point. Easy to do. Pistol in his name. Another sniper. Right. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. All right. It is interesting to actually find, just like, this galaxy is full of so many interesting things. Corporate espionage. Need I say anything else? <laughs> oh, missiles! Bob and weave. I mean, you gotta you gotta say what kind of pokeball you want. Maybe the first book you can read in a book club is Killing Mockingbird Obscure Book. You don't hear much about. Yeah, no, I, no people don't really talk about that one. <laughs> I saw you. Cringe. Oh, we're closer to the cool building. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, this is the building that we went to. Okay. Now we go into. Because I'm pretty sure he's one of the people that have unlimited Pokeballs. <laughs> Come on, what kind of defenses is this? Ooh. Oh, come on, it only registered after I started. Ooh. Can't even see where. Look there. Come on. There you are. Hello. And what else? No. Okay. <laughs> Where do I check my balls? Ball part of the command if you want to use it. Oh, so, oh, so creamy. You're just out of pokeballs. <laughs> Unfortunately, the, the how to check anything, that's the part where I do not know. Ooh. There we are. On I, my way. We are.
And the door was just wide open. Ah, uh, I don't want to save. Uh oh. Oh my god, you're huge! Oh god. Okay, here. Right corner under the stream when not typing. I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's a Krogan. Just a random Krogan. I know what to do with him. Ah! Oh, why do you look like that? Oh my god! Is he dead? <laughs> oh! No! Oh. oh, he is still alive. Oh, come on. User alert. All Peak 15 facilities have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Ah, oh, Ranch. Intelligence user interface offline. You mean to tell me, Xander, that blueberries are fucking purple? Ooh. He is hilarious. Oh! Another level. See if extra cards are selling it. See. I did buy- I did buy a bookshelf off Gumtree! That was all paid up. It doesn't exist. None of it was real. <laughs> uh, decryption, I think that's what it was. Hacking. Hacking. There we go. <laughs> that was still the best punchline to that really long joke. Was just that was all made up. None of it was real. There is no Jerry or whatever the name was that he said. Hello, turrets. I cannot shoot these turrets. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? Thank you, Talia. I had the same issue. The, they want the to life their people death. in as much as they life want times to the Hermes Hemingway in three and a half minutes. <laughs> Morgan. <laughs> okay. Another upgrade, kid. Security. Hey, here was you. Alright, uh, better, better, and better. I'll take you. Hmm. Just worse. Better. Anyone? Oh, they're both just better. <laughs> Alright. I guess I should, um, for my armor... Uh, armor upgrade. Yay! There we go. <laughs> it's a myth. Anybody who hasn't heard of the bookshelf story needs to hear the bookshelf story. Don't put. What are you doing? You're, we're about to see your mother. I need you to focus. Oh, there's no way. Up. Hello. <laughs> I 
Hello. Hello from over here. Oh my god. Ciao. Oh. <laughs> Well, this isn't terrifying. What was that? I don't know. Animals? Wind? This place is in bad shape. Oh! Oh, that's... That's, uh... That's pretty horrendous right there, I tell you, Nate. Oh, my God! <laughs> don't like it. <laughs> don't like me. <laughs> I've never seen anything like them. Xenobiology is not my field. Maybe someone in the labs knows. Oh, I'm great. Oh, I hate this. We have Christmas at my house this year. My cousin calls me up. And she doesn't even say hi. She just goes, Brandon, you can't. Bra Brandon can't have blue. First thing, don't name your kid Brayden. <laughs> Second of all. Turns out this kid, if he has anything that has the chemical dye blue number, whatever it was. Brayden just set up, just straight up, <laughs> dies. <laughs> Shotgun and assault rifle. Are these the better ones? That was a better one. And shotgun, this one is the exact same. Gravity weapons research. I definitely got a codex for that. Hello. Medical gel. All right. Oh, great. Well, these things are terrifying, and I very much don't like them. <laughs> they wound me. They wound me with their existence. How are you guys holding up? Giant insectoid monster things. A backup power system, Shepard. <laughs> Startup error. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Manual boot required. I'm wearing two boots. The only thing that's blue is mint. And mint is blue. You saw blue mint. You said that shit up. Ah. What is this? Uh. Hello, memory core. Memory core 1 is damaged. Transfer module stack to core 2 or 3 to reactivate. Press A to exit. Choose module to move. Y y you? This is weird. Uh. 
어? 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 어, 왜, 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 헬로 크림슨 베리 나이스 투 메지 아 being very dumb right now just trying to figure out this puzzle I think I have to move the all the blue things to the to the B side but this is going to be very fun <laughs> Oh no you're aware of it <laughs> uh, but I think I got it I think I got it. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I did it! I did it! <laughs> it looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who are you? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? I am Stavier Shepard. Commander Shepard. I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Oh my god, her face is terrifying. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets She looks like she hasn't getting enough access. sleep. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. Where is the person I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. Well, that sucks. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. Give me a damage report. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Yeah, hey, Crimson. Critical Glad to have you here. Main this is my first time playing Mass Effect. In accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Uh, no, I'm good. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. I think. Now exiting to the roof. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. I wonder if I messed up that sequence. <laughs> sequence break! <laughs> Hello, is there any Heads terrifying up. bug monsters? Yes, there is! Oh god. Honestly, like this. <laughs> this is a pretty accurate way the bug legendary should look like. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Okay, I go, I go find it. Outside of that puzzle, I love Noveria. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty cool so far. I wasn't uh, charming enough to convince What's-His-Face to testify, so... I kind of sucked. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Yes? Online. How may I assist you? Where's the... where's the thing? Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely. Why would I ask that? Or <laughs> the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. 
It may also damage mechanical ones. Interesting. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you've unleashed to sleep. Nice. What do I need to do to get the power back on? The valves to the helium-3 fuel line must be opened. This can be done at the controls on the reactor assembly proper. Okay, reactor That's assembly proper. Right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Uh, landlines repaired. I did that. All right, let's see. <laughs> yeah, I gotta I gotta remember to check the map a lot more often. Play Bioshock. I started playing it, but I I never got into alert. it. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Save real fast. Fair enough. <laughs> what are you two? Over the tram, which we can't go to. Over to the reactor. There we go. Okay, so there and then to the left. Okay. Fire containment system. Oh, God! Oh, I'm sorry. She just had to take a little nap. <laughs> Y'all need a little health there, though. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I love places that are built around glaciers User and stuff. Alert. I always like Main someone playing play Mass Effect Line, especially to see what choices people containment make. Procedures. Manual restart required. Well, I'm here to tell you right now, Crimson. I'm gonna make some stupid decisions. <laughs> Manual restart required. Okay. I'm gonna somehow blow this place up. Xander, I never had an interest in Mass Effect, but I think, man. <laughs> oh! I start my shotgun out. Ow! Yeah, in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. You. Oh, you're a big guy. Oh my god. Oh, hi. I was gonna say, I think you're pretty cool too, Xander. Oh. I'm gonna leave Tali out there, she's just gonna die again. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Xander, that definitely was required. not intentional. <laughs> that was not intentional, Xander, and it's kind of cool that you figured that out. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Crimson, played the trilogy, but I won't spoil anything. I just gave some tips when it comes to combat or extra lore about certain characters and spoil anything. I like finding Spunky too. Yes. <laughs> now I've got two people who've played this game who know who can definitely give me some pointers about it. <laughs> and I'll need all the help I can get. I was User that's alert. the only reason why Main she's here. <laughs> shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Wake up, Dolly. Woo! Oh my god. Get out of my way! Oh, thank you. Oh, I leveled up. Okay. 
Hey, shoot, I want to shoot, please, I want to shoot. The creators went Super Saiyan. It wouldn't make sense. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's kind of terrifying. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna unlock fitness. Fitness. Oh, actually. Oh, come on. And then these two. There we go. I would not give you story pointers. <laughs> Crimson, it's actually pretty good to bring Liara along. Very good crowd control for the Rackney. Oh, he's making it make sense. Ah. <laughs> and we're just going to dump it all into hacking. There we go. <laughs> Perimeter clear. Oh, that's good. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart re the oh. three fuel lines cut. Your lines fixed. I've completed the repairs. What does Jinsu mean? Google Chetty as quick as possible. Thanks. <laughs> Is there something up here? Why, Creamy, did I... Was I not supposed to dump all of my stuff into... Tali's hacking? Ooh. Bing! <laughs> not here. <laughs> and... Go! <laughs> The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you you have been selected to receive a transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, few tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us at the Hawking Eda Cluster. Only a, as one body can we, we right the wrongs done to our kind. Mm. Common Korean name. Oh, yeah. Mine's a pun. <laughs> I am me <mayor>. here. <laughs> oh, these hacky's pretty good against Geth. Yeah. I thought I fought everyone in Viridian Force, but apparently to fight someone is literally impossible to touch. Yeah, always. Seems to happen in Pokemon. There's just that one person that you just completely miss. Oh yeah, Crimson. Majority of them are uh, people in the chat are uh, Pokemon people, like heavy Pokemon people. So <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's good to have a lot of Geth stuff. Connections restored. And also, I plan on romancing Tali. <laughs> User alert! Unable to connect to hot lab facilities. Okay. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Let me throw. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. That's the one. <laughs> I know I got. I, all I know is that I gotta wait till the next game. That's all I know. <laughs> My man! <laughs> I'm glad to. You're in good company, Crimson. You're in good company. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in good company right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, man, do I just go to the tram now? I did everything, right? You're tracking down the she has gone there, which is executed passenger trams. Yeah, okay. Check the map again. Down, okay. Uh, I mean, to the left. Here we go. Uh, 
Ah. But yes. <laughs> but yes. Three fingers. Got a lot of ideas. I just realized both Mayhem and Jitsu only have four fingers. Ah, it's just... In the decontamination chamber. That wasn't really a purposeful choice or anything like that. Though it kind of makes sense. It do kind of sense we get to... What are they doing? What are those bugs doing over there? Hey! <laughs> That's my electronic skill. Heads up! Oh! You Control group losing the. They're in. Can't escape. Up the tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the final struck. Get out while you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here? He must have felt there was no hope of surviving. That killing himself would be easier. Wow, wow. <laughs> Online. Connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? What's this about loose contaminants? What's going on here? Dangerous biological agents are present in the tramway decontamination chamber. The tram station has been sealed in the interest of crew safety. Activation of the fail-safe plasma jets is recommended prior to access. Uh, how do I do that? How do I activate the fail-safe system? Controls for the fail-safe systems are located in the security checkpoint outside decontamination. User alert. The fail-safe system is currently inoperable. Oh, come on. What would it take to get the decon fail-safes operating again? There is a hardware fault in the control system. This can be repaired on site using a standard Omni tool. Unlock the decontamination chamber. User alert. Contaminants are present within the decontamination chambers. Passage is not recommended. How do I get rid of the contaminants? The chamber is equipped with a fail safe system which vents a 5,000 degree Kelvin plasma. This is sufficient to sterilize any potential contagion. I mean, that's fair. Unfortunately, the fail safe system is disabled at this time. What's the problem? There is a hardware fault in okay, the okay, okay, system. Okay, 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 okay. This can be repaired on site using a standard Omni tool. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. I need to find an Omni tool. How do I find an Omni tool? The Jinsu is an actual extension. I got a cape. I got a cool extension. <laughs> need to unseal the decantation in order to get to the transfer. Wait, if it's just... Ah, oh, it's the whole thing. I've got a cape. Where did she say to go? I'm almost tempted to just open it. <laughs> It's it's in this room. Oh. Ah. It's exactly the same. I realize you have a cape because I can see it through your legs. It looks like you have a butt cloth. Yeah. Box against the glass. Oh. Okay. Elect my my skill is too low. My electronic skill is too low. Oh, that's the thing that I should be. Ah. Oh. Is there any way I can undo? Ah. Oh. Nope. 
It's both, okay. Vehicle repair. And using like it on hard objects. Encryption is usually better for loot. Decryption, that's what I need. Okay. I d <laughs> well, this is confusing. <laughs> Tell me to open the door and find the old fashioned way. All right. <laughs> I can't save it. Online. Connected to subsidiary facilities. How What's this I about loose content? The tram station has just opened the door. <laughs> Releasing safeties. Proceed at your discretion. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. I have the shotgun. Hello. Ah! Ow. Doing things the old fashioned way. Ah! Now it gets fun. <laughs> Perimeter clear. It's just more proof of our different personalities, Andrew. That's all that's all that's all you're finding. <laughs> you may say that we all sound the same. Also, I'm blurry. May say that we sound the same, but we definitely don't think the same. <laughs> right. Parting Central Station. Destination Rift Station. <laughs> Destination Rift Station. Hi, Tali. <laughs> Tinsu sounds so they're too loud to sound like I'm not too late. Yes! <laughs> I've done something to sound different. Alright, <laughs> uh, door's locked. This door's open. My acnophobia ice is entering the labs and seeing Rackney. Ah, yes, this is just great. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have arachnophobia. Come here, bugs. <laughs> oh. Hello. I'm gonna save. Your voice is higher than Duke's, making it easier to find you. <laughs> Stand down. Hello, normal person. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. I'd only be upset if they'd fired. Even hopped up on stems, my people know the rule. Two legs good, four legs bad. Look, you're human and that's Very true, the sky inspires are horrendous. Are. My name is Shepard, I'm a specter. Huh, I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. <laughs> the aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out and he ain't all there anymore. Oh. The first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah. Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. Oh. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Oh? Venezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. A matriarch has the skill to keep herself alive for a long time. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Ooh. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> Hell! Man the perimeter! Hostile spotted! Enemy is everywhere! Enemy oh, is everywhere. Ah, Tali's dead! Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. 
It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. It was originally going to be a female turret. Interesting. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Interesting. Very interesting. What is over here? Oh, hello. Sick scientist, scientist. What? What? <laughs> You're a member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Sorry, I'll leave. <laughs> and uh, who are you? Return to my meditations. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. I was sent here to find an Asari matriarch. Surprised? One has visited recently. <laughs> Furtively. There are rumors she has gone to the hot lab. For now, with forced cheer. I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Nice. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being. Okay. <laughs> also, let's uh, sell everything that I'm not holding. Relieved. It's pleasant to show see me you what well. you got. Let's have a look. Regretfully, heavy armor. I cannot afford. I can't afford. Repair. Ooh, it's definitely better than what I got on right now. Should I get this or should I? Oh wait. Ooh, wait. Actually, I'm just gonna get this one. This one balances out the best. Yes. Don't like the grump. <laughs> Medium armor. Uh, 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 it's ugly. I don't like the color. Is there any way that I could like change its look? I don't need tech by tech and no. Ew. It looks so bad. I don't like it. <sighs> I guess I'm gonna have to get used to it. <laughs> Ooh, easy to decrypt. I bring Liara to the mission for two reasons. Help with Renashi because he needs dramatic... And because I need to be dramatic going after tracking Venice, you might as well bring your daughter. Very fair, but I like Rex. I'm just taking all their guns. These are uh, mine now. <laughs> Bad. Very good. Ooh. <laughs> you got a piece of mail. <laughs> uh, this does a lot more damage. Yeah, I'll take that. Quarantine and barracks. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to leave yet. Can I sell this armor and get all my money back? Also, the, I hate that when that's a thing. That, like, selling, like, buying something and then selling something back to them. Medical bay. Just having a wee rest, do you? What? 
No. Huh? I'm sorry, sir. Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah, is there something you need? No, you can go back to sleep now. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Remember to report any suspicious noises. Oh, there we go. That's why I need medical gel. Relieved. It's pleasant to see you well. Let's have a look. Regretfully. Uh, should I just, uh, I'm just gonna sell these. I sell this armor that I just bought for. Relieved. It's pleasant as regretfully. Oh, that's the skipping button. Button. Ooh, that's a lot. Sometimes bringing breaks here, just since my favorite class does usually have electronics. I bring Tali here. Understandable. Should I just sell this armor that I just got so I can eventually afford the heavy armor? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Back to... It's medium armor, but it's still... Good. <laughs> Easy. Watchdog protocol is active. I don't understand what that means. Oh, I probably shouldn't do that. Alright, what do I do? What am I doing? What am I doing? You discovered a sealed section of the rift station labs. It's impossible to blast your way in, but there may be a more subtle way. You are tracking down Red. She left the tra battle creatures and the labs can be accessed via an emergency elevator between Red's barricade and the tram station. To the hot labs. Oh, there's a batang, everybody! <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> Hello. What, what? What do you want? Oh my God! I recognize that voice. Were they attacked by the aliens? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. I could help. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? Yay! She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. I fixed her. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were Fail. exposed to a toxin oh. we were working on. If you made it, you must have an idea how to cure it. Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventrolis doesn't want to risk more contamination. I want access to the maintenance area. I suppose it's not allowed, but there's nothing back there. If you can save these men, I'll do that for you. See what I can do? I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask Pokemon you to do this officially, officially but if you can do anything... That's a good Pokemon game to start, uh, to play. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Like, I've been meaning to replay it. Like, I enjoy it. Hey, Captain, what's your face? What's your face? Where's his face? Seven nine. Seven nine nine. Everybody, we're at seven hundred and ninety nine. We need one person to subscribe, and then we get to eight hundred. I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. 
I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. Oh. All right, you want to gamble <laughs> with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. That's he'll okay. Run a full scan before I'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, totally shaky head. Yes, shaky head. I've got work to do. <laughs> you and me both. And this door opens. Now we go to quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just like the darker armor types. The bright ones make me look too much like a snowman. Hello, Han Olar. <laughs> I love these guys. You came to find out about them, didn't you? Who are you? <laughs> you mean those things out there? Oh, my cousin gave me yes. a planet, but I didn't understand. I'm the only I survivor of that the one. hot lab, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I How can base. I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. I think I went the wrong way. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Ooh. Maintenance. No, maintenance. Okay, this one will get you. How can you tell jokes? So this hydrogen says to another hydrogen, I lost my electron. I heard this one. And the other hydrogen says, man, are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> man, that guy really liked that joke. <laughs> Puns. That's the best way to get me to laugh. <laughs> I'm, I'm a person who loves. I love puns. Balls well, are pretty fun. They're shaped like peach balls. What the? I went the wrong way. Is it this way? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Hello. Warning. Watchdog protocol is active. Are you the person I'm supposed to talk to? Like it went. Got a smoke? We're all out. No, I don't smoke. It's a. It's called a piece slacking beacon. I think I would be a good fusion. Science pukes. Just bug out and leave to die. Is this where? This is the barracks. Where am I supposed to go? Hold on. Quarantine. Make a cure. Head to the quarantine lab, which is downstairs near the science team quarters. They should there should be equipment and notes that allow you to replicate science work to create a cure. Penguin in a blender. Middle school class. I never heard the penguin in a blender one. Hold on. The maintenance area area was back down. Oh, I am supposed to. Okay. They kept on talking about quarantine and I really need the maintenance area, but for some reason I couldn't get there. <laughs> but okay, so that place, that is where I was supposed to go. Okay, I gotcha. I don't like your side eye. <laughs> I'm insulted by it. Okay. Okay. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is... Hello. You're not part of the crew. Uh, we here to make it here. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. Yeah. He also said yeah, you have to prove door. you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. Nah, I'll just go in.
We've isolated four chemicals that can be combined to make counteract the toxin. They must be mixed in precise quantities. As each chemical is poured, the equipment will mark the minimum and maximum amounts that will work. Too much or too little will spoil the result. Dog eye. Veniking, the lazy centipede. <laughs> oh, did I just get... I just got a heavy armor. Hell yeah. That is really good. Oh, that looks awesome. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it was all worth it. All right, let's see how this minigame. Start mixing. Uh, hey. Fine, I messed up even harder. Just went to the security room. The ability is lacking some amazing attack from this room. Oh! Oh! Damn it. It's a, it's a weird rhythm game. Your mission ends here, Shepard. What the fuck? I thought she seemed odd. You're a sleeper agent for Benezia. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in the sky. <laughs> the cannon Shepard look. Weapons yeah. free. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Tyler is dead again. No, oh, she's fine. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Alright, I'm never taking this armor off now. Allow medical kit. More damage but less shots. Ah, mine's fine. Guard did a great job at keeping him out. Yeah. <laughs> How's this one look? <laughs> ah! Actually, I don't hate it. It just looks a little weird. Actually, can she wear it? Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. The human armor doesn't fit. Oh! The guard, Shepard. Just for being in her way. Man, he looked cool, too. He had a cool thing. And you did nothing? They came out of there. You mean the get... The inorganics the Asari had with her. Venezia brought them with her. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. That's safe. Oh, I should probably... No, I'm gonna deliver the cure to the dying people real fast. <laughs> oh. It's funny, that guy, he, he raised me for going into a place that's dangerous, but, um, and he was in the place of safety, and then, um, uh, the opposite happened that he was expecting. <laughs> Alright. Let's go save some people's lives. What is this box?
Time to help some people. Cause that's what we do. Is that the cure? You did it? That Asari scientist, the one in the mess hall, she just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. I mean, uh, I, uh, I don't know much about her. She I died don't... a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess, Saren the Spectre? Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Mm. Look, the guards, they've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. Oh. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. I don't Maybe think there's just <laughs> There's just Tetris cocaine. <laughs> I thought he was on the right track. Tetris left to a box and never delivered you. Oh, God, what a cliche. You saved their lives. Do you know that? Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Uh... All right, now we go to the main. Now we go to the uh, restricted maintenance area. Let's also save because we got a lot of good stuff and we're doing really good. But yeah, apparently Geth, they just... They pack together very well. They fit together like Lego pieces. It's funny how Tali just has so much to say and everybody else just doesn't. <laughs> A wild Grumpig! Grumpig! And I am Mayhem. Hello, Snow. Just waiting for them to pop out. Do you guys have any plans for 1k? Uh, d I mean, that is closer than we... than the idea. The idea of her stuffing some bird pots and pox is so funny. It is. Hello? That's not just for me, right? When I hit play, there's no more sound? Rex would actually have something to say about the wrenching. Ah. This is weird. Hold on, let me save and... Let's actually reload that. <laughs> hey, there we go. Okay. That was super weird. <laughs> yeah. Stop. No. Oh. That was so weird. But we're all good now. We're all good. <laughs> hey! You do not know the privilege of being a mother. Uh, very true. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Very true. Her children were to be ours, hmm. raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What is right there? About <laughs> ah, there thank you, Crimson, for the follow. Against thank you so much. Evil. Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? 
<laughs> have you faced an Asari commando unit before? <laughs> Few humans have. I can't appreciate it, Crimson. You kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been stricter with her. Dun 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 dun! Hello. Ow, 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 ow. Huh. Dana Trolley from the hit TV show Star Trek Enterprise. And now their turn to run in. Where's the gift? Where'd they go? Benicia's power level. <laughs> Her power level. And I just no, I didn't do anything. Oh my god. This sucks. Sorry, commandos and guests. Damn, this shotgun's good. Like, really good. <laughs> Carnage. Ooh, extra charm. Opens up new dialogue options, too. Ooh. Wait, what is it? What just happened? And some Rubens. Charm! <laughs> Especially if something say yay or nay. I sure wish I could, but it's gonna have to be a nay. Ooh! It's just, it, it, there's so much being shown. There's just so much. It's just, it's, how, how what do they think would happen? Ooh! <laughs> They're both falling over. <laughs> oh, hello, Get Destroyer. Oh, my God. <laughs> Quick, fill the chat with eyes, everybody. Fill the chat with eyes. Hello. Oh, there, there goes the sound again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's happening here too. It's not over. Saren is unstoppable, but I might as well with the, with his light, everything is clear. What's he doing? What's he planning? Start talking, Benizia. What's Saren's next move? I will not betray him. You will. You You must listen. Sarum still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Sarum's controlling you? How can he compel you? He's not even here. People are not themselves around Sarum. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. It is the key. The key is sovereign, his flagship. It is the dreadnought of incredible size and power. It is extraordinary. Where'd he get it? Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. 
The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that, that of any known species. It's yeah, my life flash. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a terrible... Te Why would you t t tell me the hydrate when you told me the voice of the characters? Yeah. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. He sit at his feet and smile at his word. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. A wet your whistle. <laughs> he sent me here to find the location of the Mua Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. Give it to me. You have it? I can assume you found the coordinates. Two thousand years ago, the Rachi inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. I'm hungry. Why did you stop? <laughs> the Rachi can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the queen's mind. My life I was flashed. not gentle. <laughs> I need that information. You just have to give me the location. I'll transcribe the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where you plan to go from there? Saren wouldn't let me, wouldn't tell me his destination. But if you must find out quickly, I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. <laughs> To wear the revealing <laughs> did Saren reveal order you to wear the revealing dress? <laughs> Stop me. I can't. His teeth are to my ear. Fingers on my spine. You should uh, I should Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. No, don't let no, don't get rid of her. Die. Uh, oh okay. I can technically load back up the fights. <laughs> okay. okay. And there it goes. Bye, Mom! Oh, and my controller. Ooh! My controller also gave out. That was weird. Uh. Oh, okay, there we go. Bye, Mom! Also, you just killed your daughter. Actually, actually, please kill me. <laughs> I want to die, please. She's broken, too. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so she's being mind-controlled. Stream fusion requests, Frostless and Magnezone. There we go. Sounds back. <laughs> I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Medigel. Maybe we can... No. No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. No, no, no. Mother. She can survive any Good fall. Night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. Where's she going? No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> <laughs> Quick, we must apply the meta meta gel, medical gel. You know where to put it. <laughs> Damn. Agree, Talia. Just gonna save this for later. <laughs> Hello. Also, you look crazy cool. All right, I guess <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> Did I level up again? I oh, know you.
There we go. Okay. Where is she going? She's going to the afterlife. Because she is dead. Also, there doesn't seem to be anything else I can get from here. <laughs> the music sound. It's bugged? We're bugged right now? Oh, there we go. And there's a big bug. Ah, yeah, I, I get... Ah, it's bugged. And there's a big bug. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. What's happening? This is creepy. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. What? Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. That's we cool. are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. Rachni. Did you order your people to kill the science team? No. We were locked away here. The children are beyond our songs. They have been... Lost to silence. <laughs> I'm over here. Hello. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. And their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I'll do it. All right. I don't think they'll give me much choice anyway. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Look, those tanks? Acid. Strong enough to kill anything, no matter its biology. They wouldn't have installed that if they weren't afraid of the consequences of her getting loose. They made a mistake. <laughs> They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. <laughs> <or> <laughs> the <laughs> to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No. We... I... do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Hmm. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg. Hearing mother cry in our dreams. I'm kind of home from space, hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Uh, color talking in then the air, music in colors. This place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. I'm hungry. The sky is silent. A snack has been redeemed. Arr. <laughs> Eat immortal. <laughs> should I should I release the giant bug monster thing? While I eat some more of the almonds, cause I cause I it turns out I'm hungry. Should I? 
<laughs> Shit, I'll do it. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. While we consume everybody- Ah, oh, no! <laughs> Goodbye, giant bug monster. Are you gonna need that? Nah, oh, look at her. <laughs> planting seeds, planting seeds. You don't know what I wanted to do with that thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here they are. Are you going to be mad if I do this? <laughs> Alright. Rex actually would argue with you sparing the wreck. Ah, yeah. That's cool. And now the door's open. Did I level up? I did not. That was interesting. I was not expecting the the bug dilemma. Where's the things? Where's where's things? There's things that are mad. Where do I go now? Death of Matriarch. Deal with hot labs. He dealt with Matriarch, but there's still the issue of the race. Rachne hanging, hanging down in the hot labs. I opened my journeys and I ran my down soon so I can give paper on the instead of preparing and get work. Because his people were the ones who destroyed the Rachne a couple centuries ago. Ah! Alright, we'll, we'll fix the hot labs real fast. Rachne. Hello, Yarslav Tartatoski. Are you here to secure the situation? That's right. I'm a council specter. Who are you? I am Yaroslav Tartakovsky, the operations director. I would stand and shake hand, but... Uh, yeah, but uh, I don't like you. To me. <laughs> if we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? I don't understand anything yet. What were you doing here? Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand year old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni. Must produce them. Ah. Not, but when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. <laughs> Obviously, they were wrong. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am... These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. Okay. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Mera the start. Oh my god! Hey, your mom is released. Like, I released her. Do you? Obtain purge codes. Damn! <laughs> Hello, Mira. Connecting. 
I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without mumble something. <laughs> Code input. Eight seven five zero two zero. But I feel like that's someone's phone number. Code Omega. Local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in one hundred and twenty seconds. That's good. Oh god. Is there anything else in here? Ouch! Come at me! Owie! I don't care if there's 120 seconds left. I'm gonna do it myself. Ow, Jesus! There we go. Oh my God! I just saw the radar. Oh. Uh. Oh, there's still 30 seconds left. I was just like, where's the timer? <laughs> Run! <laughs> Don't like that statement. What do you think a good nickname for a venipede slacking? The Leg King. There we go. All right. Should I just max up <laughs> combat armor? <laughs> I'm sorry, I wanted to have fun. <laughs> Me when I see a spider in my house. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. The sniper's called the Nadigi Nata. It's uh, more damage but less accuracy. I'll take it. Actually, you came at the best time. I finally killed all of the bugs that were at the station, and you don't have to see them at all, Argent. <laughs> there was a lot of bugs, like a lot of bugs. Death of the Matriarch. Mission complete. You defeated the Matriarch and eliminated the Rachni at the in the hot labs. Depart the station via the passenger tram that you arrived in. Ah, it's literally I get to leave now. <laughs> yep. And there was a big, there was a queen bug, and I, I let it out. <laughs> and thus ends my second favorite mission in Mass Effect 1. But this is the second mission I've been on. <laughs> also, we, oh, why she got the bug eyes out? Ah, we killed all the bugs and she got the bug eyes. <laughs> Hi, everybody. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. 
The commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? <laughs> You're all good. We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. We're done here. Crew dismissed. Am I gonna your report is away, Commander? You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Navaria? Uh, you yes. released the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. There we go. Let's go see what everybody has to... What everyone's opinion about all this is. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Let's go talk to Liara. Also, I gotta restock on Meta Gels. Hey, how are you feeling now that your mom's dead and I shot her in the face and like I killed her? Like I'm the one who killed your mom. How do you feel? How do you feel? Like I killed her. Like I'm the one who killed her. If like, you I are did here it. to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Yeah, you don't feel bad? Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. <laughs> she was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be. Before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination. Her intelligence. Her strength. <sighs> that is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you. Oh. And making a fool of myself in the process. As I say, <laughs> I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Well, we don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. Oh, that is true. Our lifespan is increased. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your yeah, goals she got with the most indomitable <laughs> determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. Intimidating? You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. <laughs> you run over anyone in your path to get what you want. Fair. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Me? Why me? There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what happened on Akuz. The fact that you survive shows a remarkable strength. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. <laughs> we After are our last conversation, I we are technically the orcs of the alien species. <laughs> Even though there's a understand Krogan. what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. <laughs> Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? You're not the one I want to romance. Your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Yeah, Krogan are awesome. That's not serious. <laughs> Williams and I are just friends, nothing more. Also, she hates I'm aliens, mistaken. but aliens are awesome! I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or 
Was I wrong about that too? Uh oh. <laughs> okay. I have I need I need um my Mass Effect people to answer me this one question. If I romance her here, can I still can I just completely flip and romance Talia in the next game? Or do I have or if I do it here, can I not romance Talia? <laughs> The yes does not answer. Is, is, is it okay that I romance Liara if I also want to romance Liara? That's okay. It's totally fine. <laughs> Alright. Because we got we gotta see what the game has to offer. Like come <laughs> Romance her and and can do Talia next game. Okay. Cause, cause again, I want to do the one I want to do. <laughs> no, you were right. There is something between us. No, not this game, Duke. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? Because we're standing next to him. We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. <laughs> These things never make sense. They just happen, and we get swept up in the storm. <laughs> you make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to. Oh, this. I fucked up. <laughs> I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. <laughs> no, Duke. Let's, let's just talk about something else for now. Bye. I should go. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Now we go to talk to the one that actually went to romance, but I have to wait till the next game. Eh. Ah, oh, once again, creepy. I gotta allow this one to be said. Hi, Kaiden. I literally don't remember you at all or anything like that. I'm sorry. It's like you're anything you need you're not an alien, so you're not. Yeah, did. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the stone wall you've had from the council. <laughs> they deserve to know what we're up against. They're on your. I'll have a better it's because he's not an alien. Okay, that's the main issue. Anything I can do? No, Commander, it'll settle down. It's rough sometimes, but they spike higher than a lot of L3s. Besides, I fared a lot better than some after Kinetics was through. Got a story there, Olenko? You know the records about the biotic training. After first... Oh, I'm sorry. An I'm... Embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts. I'm sure... Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. Did he... Anyway, I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history. Bye. <laughs> we'll talk another time. Lieutenant. He's still he's still technically on the team. I still gotta say hello and hi to him and all that kind of stuff, even though you know he's not the one that I <laughs> Creepy, I'm surprised that you like Kaiden more than Garrus. I thought Garrus would be the one that you're more the most protective of. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Well Have not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I bet you have. I Anything? remember the Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why wow. were you investigating them? <laughs> I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, Here's but not the numbers old. I was seeing. He voice actors sure another character from another bar while they're next door. Some really? Organs from citizens. Really? So what was it? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. So how did you figure out what was happening? What was the character, First, Crimson? we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered yeah, this they got cool faces. briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. 
So I went to his lab, hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. Ah, uh, okay. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation, to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Suspicious. What? Yeah, go on. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. Oh! The, the like, um... Living the testament. smuggler guy, Crimson. I can't remember his name. But, like, the bounty hunter smuggler dude. I know that... <laughs> growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims Nazi Republic is such a good pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so we just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. What? Why not? What the hell happened? He ran. Blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties, and the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway, and just used them to make more organs. But they wouldn't listen. No, you can't get them all. No, but letting him get away like that. Yeah, all they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. I suppose I can see both sides, but what's done is done. I suppose. Can't yeah. waste too much time worrying about it now. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. I gotta go. <laughs> that was Commander. <laughs> Looking for supplies? Yeah. Let's see what you... You bet, Commander. Da, 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 da. Oh. 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 Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. Man, this story... Bet, this game really is okay with you with ejecting all of your stuff, like, like backing out so fast, but getting into anything, like getting into things to do anything is just. <laughs> oh, is that? That's the um. This is like camo. There was an option to talk more about it. Just yet. <laughs> Let me get this. Da, 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 da. Ah, I'll take the camo. It's kind of cool. I like it. I like it. But there, uh, there's a more important person that talked to over here. <laughs> Hello, Tali. Need a side quest. Oh no. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again. So to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I don't think so. Z I still think a lot <laughs> Fuck it, Xander. Full scent. I know Sterin's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. Mm. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Oh my Our god. entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. You royal, do you? 
It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. Mm. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian has ever done before. Yeah. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the veil. Until they're gone... A bit more character development for Garrus. One of the best characters, you mean. Two games. I shook for four balls straight and perfectly caught on the fifth. Hell yeah! What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the Exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. Fair. Uh, died. what was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But now I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't. Where was your mother? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Damn. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends to do that. She passed on about five years ago. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. I want to talk like about what? Something. Bye. I should go. Worried about my phone. I'm alive and join the gift. <laughs> nah, they don't exist. They. <laughs> you're beyond. You're outside of the veil, so you're fine. They shouldn't do anything. <laughs> I guess. Commander. I'm beginning to see why they made you a Spectre. Thank you. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. I Z? sent out feelers from... I got the transponder frequency for his new I'll ship. check out the core. I was hoping you'd say that. There we go. Okay, got it. And now let's see what Rex what has got to want, say. Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as... I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. Oh. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived. Jared. <laughs> but he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter Another who, quest. As long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. <laughs> to stop his ranting. Well done, I mean. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. <laughs> but he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. Sterilization. We all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding, at least for one generation. How and can you not while, love Rex? He's amazing. We were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. What about Jared? I take it the warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. Oh, that's cool. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. 
Violence is forbidden. Well, do I have the channel for you, Xander? <laughs> it sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some Whoa. things that even we hold sacred. A did Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. Okay. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. Ah, oh, that's cool. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. Uh, not for the computer, but we play the one for the GameCube. What can you tell me about this? Ask the Solarians. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find When was the... You ask a Krogan. Would he rather find a cure for the Genophage or fight for credits? Family. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Your family. Nobody <laughs> can. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You're trying to make me cry, Shepard. Oh. I've got some unfinished business with my family. But that's all. Go on. What kind of business? Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. The grandpa. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. Armor? What's so important about this armor? It's a relic. Useless, really. But it was worn by five generations of my family before the war. It's rightfully mine. Ooh. Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed to shark tears. weapons after the war. Now it's in the hands of Ton Actus. Actus. Ton Actus. scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. May fuck you. He's got several bases where he stores his goods. All fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. Just tell me where to We'll get you the armor. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But Commander, I want to be there when you find him. Good. So long, Rex. That wasn't the word good. Shepherd. All right, what do you got to say for yourself? Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. Let's pretend this never happened. Are you interested in the Lieutenant Chief? Of course not, sir. Fraternization is against regulations. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important. I don't like her. <laughs> yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With Dad on duty so much, I had to help Mom raise them. After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? Amazing. What the fuck is that supposed to be? <laughs> Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. Mike. <laughs> I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails and I'd tell her to relax. Boys will be boys. Jesus Christ, no. No means no. If he really liked her, he wouldn't be pushy. Yeah, of course. If he didn't ask at all, I'd wonder if he thought Sarah was ugly. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing Mom and Dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. 
I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. I will always take Tali. You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. It was only a dozen light years, like a day's cruise. It's not like it was going to Earth or something. My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look, this let me handle it, I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. Jesus Christ! I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Well, I don't know. But I never take you into battle. I'm more or less a straight-up puncher. When he swung, <laughs> she just... She wasn't there anymore, and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was going to end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. Well, that's what you she get. Hugged him. Aww. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. That was pointless. <laughs> your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he Dad always wanted to serve in space. I cannot rest from travel. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Bored now. <laughs> and manners, climates, councils. I didn't know you liked classical literature. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Oh, it's Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. He's like, why are you hating the aliens? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you mean from wherever we go? Dead on, Skipper. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? I do, too. You know that old saw, there's never an atheist in a foxhole? I've been in a lot of foxholes. <laughs> yeah, I guess you have. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power. Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? Oh, she's got a point. <laughs> I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. All right, bye. Dismissed, Chief. A broken clock yes, is right twice a day. All right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, no. Arrows. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Creamy. That someone who doesn't like the aliens, I, I got a problem with that. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess Ashley hates alien politics more than actually aliens. At least that's how I interpret it. That makes sense. All right. Well, on that amazing mission that we were able to just do, we freed a bunch of bugs, we killed uh, Liara's mom, God rest those uh, amazing windows. Uh, <laughs> but that's where we're going to be ending it to here today. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more. We'll catch you all, catch you all next time. Duke, I don't know if we're going to do a... I think she's... <laughs> Duke, I don't know if we can do a... Mass Effect um, t thing raid because the whoever that we choose they might be further ahead and I don't want to spoilers. <laughs> I think I think reserving the raids for for yourself and maybe Jinzu I think that would be a good idea. Oh yeah, is anybody on? Oh yeah, and thank you, Crimson. We're so glad to have you here, and we're glad. Glad to take you on. We have uh, two other people. Duke in the chat right there. He streams like the t uh, card game simulator, Minecraft, that kind of stuff. 
And we got another one, another friend. His name is Jinzu. He, uh, he's been streaming a, a Pokemon playthrough, so... So if you find any interest in those things, you got that as well. But then all, there's always the notification that says that it's me playing more Mass Effect. So we we appreciate you stopping in right now. We we'd love to see you more later. And everybody that goes for everybody else too. <laughs> Thank you, Crimson. But um, but Duke, is anybody else on? Friend of John from Elementary to read Joe Billy music. <laughs> Xander's just our chaotic. No, he's our goblin. <laughs> The goblin. <laughs> he's on our way. He's on his way to hobgoblin status. We always gotta save again. Type in. You can send this. Wait, where's the? Uh, I don't see where it is. <laughs> also, it's been a while since I've done a raid, so. Oh yeah, Crimson, if you like our community and all that kind of stuff, we got a Discord that you can check out as well. We get that. Not stream type. In OBS. Dark stream. What? What do I what do I type in the chat? <laughs> That's what I gotta ask. <laughs> Is it right? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> Raid. Joe. Billy. Music. Do a slash. <laughs> oh. Baby, me him. There we go. All right, we're going there in five seconds for for a hundred episodes of Dragon Quest. Hundred episodes of Dragon Quest and eight hundred subscribers. Hi, Joe Billy, not. Joe, not Billy. This <laughs> is Billy. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>